as implementing actors. Um, I think one way to look at them in the, kind of the most obvious sense is they're permit holders. But there's so many permit holders, it's impossible to meaningfully engage all of them. And so um, these are kind of the questions that we want to look for uh, with this. Who are those key actors? How should they be engaged? Who is going to be responsible for that engagement? And then again, that time frame is really between now and the, um, not necessarily now, the beginning of the revision phase through the end of the revision phase. It's really the, the time frame. And so I think that um, when we look at the region, um, who, who do you all consider kind of those key actors within the region? Are there specific industries, specific municipalities um, that need to know that the plan's being revised, that may have input, that may have had changes um, that are important to know about, um, that may be a key implementer with the revision uh, that maybe brings them up to speed um, to understand how they can impact, say, water conservation or improving water quality. Uh, those are the impacts that, that actors can have and that can benefit you in, in getting the plan in place and working uh, for the benefit of the region. Well, I mean, if you're looking at the uh, ag permits, uh, I look at in the region would be row crop and then blueberries. Uh, blueberries you can probably use uh, the association. MBG. Well, no, I'm talking about the Georgia Blueberry Growers Association. Uh, Albert uh, um, Wow. Yeah. I think he's he's president of that. So you can use there. Uh, publications to with notification. Uh, also, they have periodic uh, meetings of growers. You can use the rural meetings as a means of uh, publicizing. Right. Um, I know we've got Farm Bureau with us. They have a, a presence in every county. Actually, blueberry waters might go down some. You know, they put in all these deep wells for the big irrigation systems for fall protection. This this past winter, late winter, these guys turned their irrigation systems on for that hard freeze we were having for a couple of nights. And they got so much water, broke branches. And actually, the blueberries, they made the grower were telling me that their actual production was better on the, and then we all talk about hybrids, early varieties too. And they actually, the production was better on the non irrigated than the irrigated because of the problems that the water actually caused. They turned it on too early and it stayed cold too long. Now, if it's a few hours, it's one thing, but when it's a couple of days, it's three days. Yeah, you know, three days. So they, they might not turn their irrigation system on the next time it gets cold. So the production was better than it was, didn't you? Yes. It could be a potential source 
put some information out too, but I think they're located in every county. RCMD Kevin's to put out any information. We have to let the council do it. Do you think it's more productive to uh, send them updates or invite them to attend or both? How is this region divided? Does 
one regional commission cover this region, or yeah. does it follow the several? Pretty much, pretty much what your well, our council looks like. I, I think, except for one county, that it's pretty much the same. Okay. The RC. Yeah, there's a coastal uh, RC. Yeah, there's well. a coastal uh, regional. I position. believe it has part of. No, we, we voted to go to them, but we had not had a municipality okay. to go with us, so we're still I got gotcha. you. Okay. But that's what I thought. I knew there was something yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. we, we voted to go to the county, but yeah. we're still in the Okay. Well, I'm glad we cleared that up because I thought you guys had voted to do that. That's the one, yeah. Just a, just a, just a thought. 
Okay, I think that we've had a, good, a pretty good conversation about this next piece. And what I really want to do is make sure that 